Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Alan Wake. So, it can't be too long now. I imagine an hour and a half or so, uh, and we can, we will be done with the game. Hmm. I didn't realize that she was shooting bullets before, so as long as I put the flashlight on people, she'll blow them away. Hmm. Which is helpful. guy is just trying to power through me and he's wearing a sheriff's outfit hmm. Hmm. and maybe I'm supposed to go that direction maybe not and see this is really weird because Apparently there's something the collectible. Fish. This was Bright Falls industrial area. There was probably a cannery nearby. Hmm. We really haven't done anything with the fishing people. And I'm looking for a collectible here for no reason. My my only thought, hope would, would be that maybe this will give me something to refill my bullets. Lithium batteries, flare guns. All right, fair enough. So we've kind of learned that looking for collectibles is not worth it. And this is... You can't climb up the, both directions on that. But you don't get upgrades to you, even your, your flashlight. And almost certainly there's a collectible down there. Uh, for being thorough in the gameplay. They want me to go this way. This collectibles here clearly want me to go this way. Bullets. I could actually use the revolver ammo. explanations you know for example what the hell happened to rose she's seriously messed up now the same thing i think happened to me after i arrived during this week you can't remember oh i remember now hmm so the this first time we came down in this area it was clearly just to reuse it Hmm. So, it's it's a weird situation because the sheriff claims to know that weird stuff happens in this city, but not weird stuff like this, and so she's still very confused and still doesn't know what's going on, so she can't be helpful in any real way. And I thought New Yorkers were rude. Uh, but... Because the story wants to give us the scenario where two people can shoot and two people are fighting at once, 
which is all this really is, is just a test demo of, of can we have a co-op AI help you. And it does work well enough, at least. But you can't have something like this in most of the game because then Alan Wake is not doing anything. And there's probably has been a, a game or two where you, as the player, just point a cam a, a light at something and then a secondary AI takes aim and shoots. But if that has been done, it's it wasn't done successfully, I can guarantee you that. And it won't ever be done successfully. Because that's not a fun way of playing a game. I have a key. Watch my back, wait. Hmm. See, and I bet the red light doesn't affect the darkness. So if I put in two batteries and pick up batteries, that gives me about two batteries. Does a chainsaw die? Much like Resident Evil 4, they're trying to introduce chainsaw guys as this giant new enemy. And it's just not gonna fly. I only have five shots, so let's switch to the other gun. Again, she might just be walk walking me into a trap. We've barely moved a couple blocks. Someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. Hmm. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Did we get electrocuted? I think we did get shocked. Not in a cutscene or story, but we did in the gameplay. Hmm. No manuscript hidden back that way. Who's going to talk to the me now? The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Hmm. And again, we're getting text messages. This takes forever. And that's four of six shots needed on the revolver. I'm going to unload entire clips are not the right term. But switch switch from the shotgun to the hunting rifle. I think you have to just because I need I need to use up the hunting rifle ammo. Hmm. Bullets are a bit of a commodity. Hmm. Switch to a better lantern. Flares. More bullets, more batteries. Flashbangs. Helicopter key. Okay, Sheriff. So this is the keys. town hall. And that's the end of the game right there. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Hmm. 
Oh god! Oh god! You told them two different things there. You told them to look out and the move. He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Like, Come on, Wake. Let's go around. Why are you going to show a cutscene like that and introduce a possible danger and then immediately have the girl say, Ah, he's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's a another thing to read. Hmm. Is this the like historic mayor house or something? Hmm. I've only got a seven more shots. can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. The down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, hmm. about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, hmm. the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. Hmm. They never really even addressed it. I guess I have to kind of applaud them for just having a female sheriff and a female... They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now? I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Hmm. Like they they had a female sheriff and a female uh, deputy or assist assistant in a small town and never made a big deal about it. So I guess yay gender equality has finally come. Yeah, I mean, it really is, I guess, a very good example of it. It's not not really mentioned. No snide remark was made that I recall. In fact, it's just me making the snide remarks. See Barry. If anybody. Look, wait, hmm. maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. So, in this world, it's just a world where nobody would question it. more flare guns Th that's nice to nice to be in a good position are these they look like just regular plants I thought maybe somebody was growing some marijuana hmm. we're going through a creepy uh, playground where you know if if there was any jump scares in this game there should be a jump scare where every collectible is so it, you're punished to collect them like it something scared jumps out and scares you or something attacks you but there's nothing like that so you're 100 percent encouraged to explore and take more time I could imagine the police have a key to almost everything. I told him to get it fixed. I imagine there might be a lockbox with a combination that security companies have and they've given to the police to let them in. What's funny is I'm not even using my battery right now. And of course that's causing it to not work that well, but... Hmm. 
Hmm. Some of the things these characters say make no sense at all. They, they've just got, they had voice actors say random things. We've got multiple people running around. See, I'm not even hitting the right button now. Let's run over here and see if we can read this. This is probably one more sign to read. It makes sense for a writer okay, to open. read a lot. Let's go, Wake. We're in the church. There has been no talk of a church. Also, it seems like it, probably something crazy happens at Deerfest every year. There is a manuscript page on this lectern. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. This isn't even like one of those games, though, so... If the darkness can bring back the dead... They've really failed to do it so far. Hmm. This almost seems like there's a secret passage back behind there. Yeah, this is just kind of a maze, I bet. And we're in one of those positions where there's going to be a consistent fear that we're gonna fight an even bigger boss eventually so if I can avoid using the flare gun I'm going to try probably to the point where I'll walk right into the ending of the game and and have still not have used the flare gun hmm. And if this was nightmare difficulty and there was three times as many enemies, Guess that, one saw the light, huh? that wouldn't be any better. Yeah, like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. How is he powering them? Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. How are you powering Christmas lights? Unless this is some weird Christmas lights that run off batteries and are designed to be mobile that I've never seen anything like. Hmm. Hmm. The way he would have had to be doing this is he would have to be holding a car battery on him some, somewhere using a 12 volt to 120 volt inverter adapter that you would use on a cigarette lighter wire right that to a car battery like the and then plug world. in the lights and this headlamp it's like a superpower i can just look at one of those things and they die it's my flaming eye of mordor see see how I long that would last that probably wouldn't hey i want a headlamp last one bastard hmm it does go to point out that Alan could have been doing a lot of things if it light is actually pretty easy to to have a lot of. Hmm. There is a game called The Darkness One and Two, two games actually. It was supposed to be a trilogy and it kind of ended on the cliffhanger, and probably is never going to get the story finished. 
which kind of sucks. Damn school bus at your head, and you're about to take a helicopter hmm. ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license. Hmm. You're cleared for departure to Night Springs. Uh, no offense, Sheriff. Hmm. Still not enough. So, my companions there managed to kill the chainsaw guy and, let's face it, about four out of five of those enemies and left me one to defeat on my own. Just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here. And either this is the end of the game or and the end of the story. Or this is going to be the end of be a big boss fight. And it kind of has to be a big boss fight because we still haven't approached and dealt with with the wife. And if if we haven't dealt with the wife and and done all of that. Alan Wake has no reason to to want to leave. Uh, if he just admits his wife is gone and dead, then then he could have left a long time. You gotta get rather close. Hmm. And this looks just like another another scenario where we're just trying to hold back the darkness. I mean, can we just leave now? Apparently not. Hmm. Let's switch down to the flashbangs. So this is just a nice sequence of you should be holding back the enemies. Just more of this. And using a more powerful gun is actually a mistake because it's not you you're you're directly trading off the power of your gun with uh, with the speed of your gun. And many games that is the case where you're you have something that does double the damage but is twice as slow to to uh, fire, 
which actually sounds like a bad deal, but actually is is a better deal as long as you don't miss because you'd use half as many bullets to do the same amount of damage in that, in that scenario. But if that's not the case and you do miss, or if you just need to fire bullets faster, like is as in the case here, uh, the revolver is really the only gun you can play with. They never went with a machine gun. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what we were doing, is we were going to the lady with the lamp. I thought we were going to just leave. Definitely felt like we were just running away. So of course the game is once again putting me in the forest, in a lumber yard, in something like that. The birds are are going to mess up the helicopter instead of the other way around. The helicopter messing up the birds. Hmm. That's unbelievable. Particularly since there's light on the helicopter. Uh, what have we got? Um, where are we? So we're starting here, and we need to run. I don't even think these guys can really hurt me enough to kill me. Revolver ammo, revolver ammo, all kinds of re revolver ammo. Now we have revolver. Now we have some batteries. We've seen phones. It's just a pile of revolver ammo. Hmm. And every time we see a sequence like this, the darkness controls the taken. I figured that that would work a little bit different than the way it did, but whatever. And not a clear example of the game just not giving you enough time. to shoot or stop the people from attacking you. Batteries, revolver, shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo, shotgun, pump action shotgun. I'll take that and start using that. More flares. Hmm. Well, if there were ever going to feel like there was a fight area, this would be it.
And again, the music's playing. Interesting, there was a gear shadow. Hmm. And again, the shotgun's just not cutting it. That was way more difficult than it should have been. And when you run into scenarios where you're attacked by a bunch of regular enemies, my guess is usually that's because they're programming just in case uh, they can't make a bigger boss enemy. Which may very well turn out. Like the right move here is we'd fight the lady and the darkness in the form of the old lady and she would, I don't know, run up on you and attack you, scratch you or something. The power plant glowed in the night. Mm. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Like the one place that's brightly lit all over the place. Of course this might be the darkness's plan all along is get me to the power plant and then have me destroy it and then the, there's nothing but darkness everywhere in the game, in the city. Hmm. Like that very much... Wow, does that just take a lot of work. Hmm. If I was the darkness, that's what I would do. Is think trick Alan Wake into thinking he was doing something good, but make it turn out he's actually doing something bad. And I don't fully see the point of having to turn on a light to get a checkpoint in the first place. Checkpoints either should exist or they shouldn't, and they should be for everybody or nobody. The idea of allowing even a tiny percentage of players to miss the amount of uh, I'm out of flares. I suppose this is a fissure that we're shooting right now. And I guess we're going through. And he fell onto the wall. And I think that's what they want us to do is to electrocute a couple of these guys. And we've totally stopped caring about collecting any manuscript pages. And if you run, maybe your health and your uh, and your batteries charge faster at that run rate, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. So any instance of running actually makes the game more difficult on you. Hmm. 
it's kind of strangely poetic that the vanishing end of Ethan Carter could have been could be taken apart. You could use all the visual elements in that game and have I would roughly guess 90 uh 90 percent of this game because it's the exact same things it's buildings it's it's a power plant it's a cave it's a forest and you cannot see his face even when he's right next to you and the vanishing of Ethan Carter was a lot newer of a game you see made an Unreal Engine 3 and now and then upgraded to Unreal Engine 4 which apparently was pretty easy and it looks way better of course that's comparing a game that was made like a year ago versus a game that was made nine years ago but it speaks to to the alphabet the lexicon of the video game industry that if you want to make a generic horror game in set in the mid mid part of the United States this is what you get this is same same thing nine years ago is the thing you get would get today hmm. and they didn't do anything different in either game so and I think it's probably fair to say both games yeah didn't really do anything creative in their environments they tried to make uh, the the forestry foisted parts of the United States seemed spooky and many stories many games have done that it's almost like I bet somebody has some 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 experience in their own life that they're coming from from that because I imagine being in a big forest would be spooky but as someone who hasn't experienced that really to me it, it seems it seems like they're trying to make something happen that really just shouldn't happen or wouldn't happen on its own like the things I would be afraid of if I got into a forest is I'd be afraid of bears and wolves and animals I wouldn't be afraid of Slender Man or uh, or d darkness possessed birds hmm. Hmm. see I think that was a whole nother area Am I going the right direction? Like this doesn't seem like that's the right direction. I'm supposed to be going this way and I was thinking this was just going to connect directly to that but... Well, that's not the case. So I've ridden this longer than I think I needed to. There we go. Go to the power plant. And this is an element that would make some sense. 
I guess we need to kill these guys though. Let's just keep moving. There's another collectible over there. Apparently we have to run around the edge of this power plant. If the metaphor that is the idea that the darkness is in me, I may very well just be bringing the darkness right to where it needs to be. At least that's how I would write this story. recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Hmm. So... So is the idea that whoever has been working here... Right there. Miss Weaver! Cynthia! I'm a friend! Prove it! Uh... You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light! In the song! You can help me! About time! Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you! It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I've built the room to keep it safe. Hmm. As opposed to the power plant that would be probably the best well lit room ever because how in the world could Will it, help it not Alice? be lit? Get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You can be breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us? Hmm? Heavy duty the lantern. Damaged at the transformer yard. It's the main, all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. Darkness waits in my dreams. I miss you, Tom. I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switches outside. Hmm. Flare guns. Coffee thermos. I have been preparing for these times. The dark tides. You have mm. found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Mm. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? And can't walk into the light. So Hurry. we're going this way.
We've got a slightly better. You want to come? stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Never go out at night. Hmm. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Is this just a puzzle? Hmm. If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Hmm. There's only three of them. Hmm. And I think I may have just solved it. Been a very difficult puzzle. Nope. Yep. Not difficult at all. Missed. And we can. We have 12 shots and 10 shotgun shots and a good amount of flare guns and a couple flashbangs and six flares so we're pretty well suited as far as pages uh, well three of them are only available in nightmare difficulty which means very possibly we've missed everything else and we're kind of in a weird position like it's possible that Next recording, we start the game, and five minutes in, we are done with it. And maybe there, maybe I don't have the DLC. That doesn't explain too much. It with the alarm clocks and the cardboard standees and Night Spring video games, if that's the case. But whatever. Uh, so maybe next recording it will be like five minutes long. And then it'll be done. But often I feel that's the case and almost never is it true. Because you start to go into credits. Credits can easily take 10-20 minutes of just looking at everybody that walked on the game. Anyways, we're done with this recording. I know that much. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites... There's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.